Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to be doing a wee eye tutorial for this look. I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. So I'm just starting off with my Revolution Brow Pomade in Ebony. Um, I've not moisturised my skin first. I've not got anything on my skin because we'll be using glitter so I don't want it to stick. Um, yeah, so just going through that, I'll just do one on camera. Then, as always, using the P. Louise base in shade Rumour 2 and going underneath my brow and patting that down as well just to carry a blank canvas for the shadows. I'm not going to set this base either as it works better uh, when it has a tackiness to it so just getting a fluffy brush and like so just blending and making that all seamless. So now taking the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette um, and we're going to take the shade Relish and take with a thick brush uh, we're just going to pack that along in the crease. Now just taking the Juvia's Place uh, Zulu palette, I'm going to take the pink shade at the bottom and with a small fluffy brush you're going to blend out the uh, shadows and just doing that 50-50 um, method where you just kind of have the, the lighter shade halfway on, halfway off to make them blend in nicely. And then going back in with that relish shade, I'm just going to take that small brush and go back into my crease and make sure that it's still got the depth from that darker colour. Then felt that it was taking quite a pink look instead of a, a kind of cambry vibe. So I went and took the Magic palette by Juvia's Place and I cannot pronounce this shade, so just the red one. And then go back into my crease with that and build up the colour. So I'm um, now just going to take a fluffy brush that's got no shadows on it and just blend out the edges. Now going back in with the Troublemaker palette, I'm going to take the shade Knockout which is just a deep brown and I'm going to just deepen out the crease. Then go back in with that relish shade and make sure that that's all blended in because you don't want them all blocky. Now that I'm happy with that blend, I'm going to go in and take the Peelody's base in shade 0 again and take the Morphe M224 brush and then just cut out my crease to the desired shade, I, shape, shape I like. Then taking a fluffy brush and just patting it down like I did with the base previously. I'm not going to block there. And just going to blend that out so it's making the product disperse properly and there's not all like in one place. Do you know what I mean? First of all, I'm just blending out with the relish shade and then going back into knockout just to darken out the outer corner. And then after that, I'm going to pick up the relish shade again and blend out the brown. And then once I've done that, I'm going to pick up the Zulu palette and take that pink. So I'm just really repeating my colours that was in my crease. Now just taking a flat brush and the NYX glitter glue and I'm going to just put that along the crease making sure it's all evenly dispersed. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now just taking the MAC Cosmetics pigment in the shade Vanilla. And this is just really like a paralysed um, cream white colour. It's really nice and nice. Um, just taking that along. And the, the, the glitter primer will help the, the primer stick down. And then we're just going to repeat the outer corner colours again. Then now I'm picking up that glitter glue again and I'm going to just take it to the outer corner with a smaller brush. Now I'm just going to be taking the MAC Cosmetics um, glitter in the shade gold and packing that onto where I put that glitter primer. If you don't like it with the glitter you can really just skip this step and go back onto like eyeliner. Um, it doesn't really make a difference, it's just if you would want to tone it down a bit. Then again, we're going back in with those shades and we're going to do the outer corner again, just making sure that it's completely blended in. So this is why I haven't put a moisturiser, it just like helps the glitter come off your face. Then just going in with the eyeliner and just doing it to the end. I don't really like how I'm flying with a look like this, so I just really take it to the outer corner where the darker shades are. Again, blending out with the shades from previously, again. <laughs> so that's me done my eyes. I'm going to do my skin off camera because you've seen it quite a few times now. Um, if you want to see my skin routine, just pop onto another video. I've just kind of drawn out the eyeshadow a wee bit into my temples, that's all that's kind of different. So then I'm just going to repeat the shadows from my crease underneath my eyes so everything is just blended in nicely and yeah I'm quite happy with that. I also thought I'd do something a wee bit different and I've taken the Peaches and Cream Luxe pigment which is just really like a pink glittery pigment and I've put it in my brow bone, my inner corner and also I thought to put it like on the top of my cheekbones and stuff and just blend it in with like my highlighter brush and it really like added more of like a pinkiness to the look and then I just kind of went by with put on my nose and everything. I'm now just using the Primark Beauty uh, Toffee Lip Liner to line my lips here. Then to get that ombre effect, I use the Doll Beauty Get Lippy lipstick and just made sure that I'm blended in and then I forgot to video this but I put um, a wee bit of an NYX Madeleine lip gloss on and put my lashes and everything on and that's really just the finished look I'm really happy with it I thought it was so different to what I usually do I want to say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe bye